Hey folks, James here with Johnson of VMP Isle of Washington, and today we're going to take a look at the 2012 Keystone Passport 2650BH, the bunkhouse model. So this is the Passport's ultra light version, which makes it just a lightweight coach. Taking a first shot in the very front, we're on the passenger side right now, <clears throat> and we have big storage going all the way through. So this is great for your fishing poles, golf clubs, lawn chairs. Right inside here we have a little light to click on for us. Three stairs helping us get up. We have vinyl graphics throughout. Um, with inside, we'll have a push of the button, make this power on it all the way extent. We also have the porch light and two speakers right here in their main living space. This is where we're gonna spend most of our time barbecuing, having a good time, so it makes sense. That's where they put the speakers. Also, we have right here, outlets for an outside TV if you want, a stereo, using the same speakers or anything you want, even a margarita machine, however you wanna do it. Outside access to the gas and electric water heater. And we have storage right here in the back. You see, and looking all throughout, we have a lot of natural windows, but in some good light. Back of the coach, we have the bumper. So if you want to carry an exterior grill with you or some storage, those have clamps. So you can put them right here to your bumper. Um, good shot down below. In the front and the rear, we have stabilizer jacks. So once you're at your campsite, um, you want to make sure your unit doesn't rock too bad going back and forth when you're shifting the weight. You put these things down, hand cranked easy enough. And then right here in the very back, this is an outlet if you have a portable satellite, you want to hook up to the park cable, that's where you do it right here. On the driver's side now, this is the big claim to fame, we have the slide room. Right down below we have the black and gray, so you can dump easy. Again, a good shot of the stabilizer jacks. And we have a utility shower, so if we're at the beach, we can wash off our sandy feet easy enough without having to go inside. And I'm going to give you another shot over here of the same front piece we saw in the beginning, that pass through storage, all the way through. Over to the right, we have our water connections, of course, our little, how much we actually weigh over here. And on the very front of the unit, we have a docking light. The front cap, you know, kind of slopes back to give us more, easier to be towed. And then propane right here, as well as tongue jack. But we're going to head inside now and show you a few of its key features. So we're inside the 2012 Keystone Bunkhouse, and I'm going to talk about right here in the very front, we're on the passenger side, open up, this is a little more command center if you will. This is where we can check our fresh water levels, our lights going in and out, our slide room, our extending the awning, water heater access, and you'll notice right in the living space we have our TV. Now we have a piece right here to keep it locked in transit, but when you remove that, this TV can either be in the living room, or you spin that around and put it in the bedroom. Easy enough. Then taking a good shot of the bedroom, we have storage on both the left and the right side, kind of his and her cabinets, as well as cabinetry above. Now taking a look at the living space, this is on the driver's side, we have the couch and the U-shaped dinette. <clears throat> above here, I'm going to give you a look at the day and night shades. And this will just give you privacy going throughout. Of course, we have our balances right here. A lot of good lighting, has a good sense, it's a very warm and welcoming open style. On this side in the very rear, we're going to have our pig pantry right here. Shelving inside. And then give you a good look at that. And then we'll go right into the bathroom in the far back. You notice the shower, we have a little skylight above, so when we walk in, we're not going to hit our hands in that van. So with steam, whatnot, we'll have the exit of the coach, not have any issues. And then on the passenger side is when we have the bunkhouse. This is towards the rear of the coach. So these are the two bunks right here. Gives you additional sleeping arrangements. And then in the kitchen, right in front, a couple big shelves in there. You go all the way back. Now, if you don't want to use those shelves, notice there's a hanger right above. So you hang your shirts, pants, would not take away those shelves and you have more closet space. We have the gas and electric appliance right here in the fridge. Oh, well, top section being the freezer, of course, bottom being the fridge. And then we have the microwave as well as the oven down here. It's going to be off of gas, real clean, it's in great condition. Lift that up for you. And then I'm going to show you the size of the sink. These would do as a kind of a cutting board too if you want, but this is the general size of the sink and it has that arch, so if we're trying to get underneath the pots and pans, it's easy enough. 
Um, good general sense. We had air, of course, the front, we had the furnace as well as a roof mounted AC. It's a well laid out coach. If you guys have any questions on it, feel free to give us a call at 253-286-0833. And when you do, be sure to ask for James.